Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so we did Bo's tackle, and now we're doing mine. Um, we're doing this to kind of show y'all what we're working with. And then we'll get back to, like, actual videos of fishing. Um, I wanted to start with these Googling, like, more of my Googling things. This one, um, I forget what it's called, but as you can tell, um, it's worn out. I've done this. I've got some of my personal best on that. It's definitely one that I can recommend. Um, this one is a recon. Google recon. Really recommend this. Um, I've never actually used it, but I've heard good things about it, and I'm excited to try this. We'll do a review on that if this video gets to 10 likes. Um... Then we can start the things like worms and soft plastics right here. So these, I have a bunch of right here. And these look good in the water. Um, green, lunker log, all of that they look all good. They all work real good. These lunker logs, I really do recommend. I've, always, I've caught a bunch on those. Um... You can always just go to Guggen and look up Guggen and Google. Um, this is where we get a lot of our baits in there. They have good baits, or I say baits, I mean lures. Here's another one. These are amazing. I really do recommend. Um, I've caught a bunch of fish on these. This, these, like these looking ones, and then these jerk baits and all that are really good i do recommend those um yes i know this is a pretty big tackle box for working on getting a new one a smaller one um we have oh, i forget what these are called but i forget what this is called um it's a rooster tail it's a rooster tail um i've actually never fished with these but i think um I think Bo used it once, and he caught something, so that's good. Never used this. I'm not really into this one that much. I mean, it might catch something, but I've been using these and whatnot a lot. I've catch crappie, bass, all those things with those, and I'm not going to stop using them if they're catching. So, you know how that goes. Um, we have, like crickets and whatnot that look real good um in the water when you're trying to catch like bass when they're feeding so you have like your cricket with like a minnow but i'm trying to i'll get them hooked later and then i can't quite tell you what oh that's crawdad or crawfish whatever you want to call it looks real good in the water too um this one, it don't look horrible, I guess, but I've never really gotten a chance to use it. We've got, we found this, so we'll be fishing in ponds and lakes, and one of the ponds we'll be going fishing at has like a 10 pound bass um, that I think I'll use the recon on. If I can't, if that can't catch it, then I'll try these two. Probably gonna wait for that to be last. If that can't catch anything, I'll be using one of my frog, which makes takes me into my frog lures. So this one's been used more. So I actually had two, and one of them, um, we had like a five pound bass on it, and it took the whole thing off, and couldn't find that bass to try to save it. But I don't know. That's what happens, I guess. Try not to get too bad mad about it. It's so not a bad, <coughs> not a bad one though. Um, and then this is my newer one that I got. Um, belly don't look too bad. This belly does look better in my opinion. But some people could have a different opinion, and this looks pretty good. Um, yes. Now we go into my like zooms uh 
and whatnot, like things like those. I'm trying to get more union baits, cause or lures, cause Joe's are just they always work out pretty nice. So we have more of these. As you can tell, we use these a lot. As you can tell by the packaging, and then we actually lose them a lot though. But or when we used to use them, they kept on coming off and it was getting really annoying. But we got a new, or at least I got a new way to hook them. Or like not hook them, but tie them on. So, um, I haven't tried them yet. Um, we got a uh, one and eight, we got a good old weights. Can't go wrong. Actually got a zoom sticker. I don't know why, but I just want to show you all this. Now we have good old scissors. You never know when you need these. Probably don't need them much, but can get those at Walmart for pretty cheap sometimes. Um, I got clippers. Not the best. I don't like how they're angled. I like it when they're more straight. But these are the only ones we could find, so that's what we're going to use, you know. Um, have some hooks got some mustard ultra point hooks probably will never use these I, I don't know why but I, I don't really like them they'll have even even more hooks some eagle claw brand and twin shank not bad not bad at all so we got some more weights um, I'm not showing y'all everything but I need to make this quick just showing y'all come up some of my top baits and then some of the baits that I haven't used that I think will do real good. And then we have these. These are, hold on. These look pretty good from the outside. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like if you hook that right, that could look pretty good. Um, depending on time of the year and what you are fishing and how, again, how you hook it. It all depends. Um, yes, I'm trying to, trying to get more lures and, like, more crankbaits and whatnot. Um, I recommend, at least what I've seen, going to, like, Academy and places like that for lures. Or, if you're looking for these, these Googans, I got this one online. Actually, no, I lied. I got both of these at, like, Academy. Um... And if it's easier to go to like Academy or Sports Outdoor or something, I, I recommend because they have Guggen. But, you know, if you go look up Guggen and Guggen Squad on Google, it will take you right to the, or it will pop up the, um, the their shop. And that's what I recommend. Um, I think that's it for today. We have a spoon here. Um, I think that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. You know, uh, go watch Bo's tackle review. Um, we will hopefully in the next, hopefully in the next week or so, get y'all a um, 